Hello everyone, welcome you all to tutorial number 7. In this tutorial, we are starting with a to do app using Vue.js and we will learn how to create an app to do app using the create, read, and delete functionality. And we will also add a mark as done functionality in this app. So let's get started with this tutorial. So here we can see that we are going to start with a to do app using Vue.js. So we have all uh, learned the uh, basic components of Vue. Now we will apply them to make an application. So you can move to this GitHub link that is github.com slash pro software development slash learn view. And this would uh, help you to get uh, more of the code and working uh, files which are maintained in, in this video series. So let's get started with the today's tutorial. Uh, this is the official website of view. From here you can get the uh, like documentation plus you can also get the like installation part how you can install it on your on your machine so you can click on this button get started and you will get a, a production version plus a development version a uh, development versions will always give you console warnings which are helpful in development phase uh, this is bootstrap 5 page where you can get all the uh, components of bootstrap 5 it has a like a beta version and which is an upgradation to the bootstrap 4 and here you can click on the get started template like getting started and what you can do click on here start a template and you can copy this and uh, paste it on your machine uh, sorry on your html page so here you can see and when we refresh the page so here you can see you, you get the uh, uh, like you get the uh, thing started so let's uh, what we can do so let's uh, let's start with our application so what we can do uh, we can first change the title of this. We can type view JS. What we can type like view view JS to do app. So perfectly fine. And we can like give a heading H1 is equal to hello world. Instead of this, we can give this a same heading view JS to do app and we can like we can paste this and we can put style okay we'll put the styling later on and so i'll okay we, i'll i'll ex close explorer yeah now this looks perfectly fine so this, these are the optional with how you want to use the bootstrap but this one is perfectly fine you can move this option to remove this option to this will create a bit of confusion and this is the option one we are using and I'll clean the code so it's for the betterment and this is like required meta text and bootstrap CSS so what we can do uh, like we can refresh this page and you, you can see view JS to do app and what we can do uh, we can use a uh, now we can create first create a div and inside the div we can first create a form so let's create a form first and then we will proceed with our uh, like we will proceed with the logic part so the first we can create a div id is equal to app so this is our, our this is going to be our main div and inside this div what we can do we can create a form okay and we can create a form okay and inside this form we will uh, try to create the like uh, we will try to build the like text field and then we will click we will create a submit button so okay let me change the uh, like okay i'll change the color scheme i hope this is fine yeah so this is perfectly fine so okay uh, we i can uh, also uh, like i've changed the color scheme for the better visualization so now inside this form what we can add we can add a uh, like input type is equal to a text so let's add this and before that i'll give div class is equal to uh, uh like i'll add a input input type and i'll give this as as a text and i'll close this input type yeah perfectly fine now uh, i'll uh, refresh this page i'll go back to the page yeah 
so here you can see i have a input type is equal to text so we'll do all the styling later uh, so what we can do uh, plus i'll give the name as it is equal to name is equal to to do to do text and i'll give this as the id also and this is going to be the same to do text and for this i'll give a label okay i'll give this as a label label for to do text and what you can add add your to do here okay so so this is the label i have given and i hope this is fine then i can refresh this page and here you can i have a idea to do here to make this more responsive what you can do you can move to the form like form controls and you can uh, go to this page and you can add this class is equal to form control here class is equal to form control and you can add this class to form label here so you can add this i hope this is fine yeah so you can refresh this page and here you can see now you can press control shift i or inspect okay and what i'll do i'll move this to the right yes so here i have the like responsive design and i like move talk to the right yeah now it's perfectly fine so here it's not responsive we will try to make it more responsive so this is perfectly fine and this is the console so this is we can create a form now the very first thing what we can do is create a script so let's create a script here script and source is equal to index dot js and yeah perfectly fine but before this script we need to add a view js and with that is going to be in the development version so let's yeah so let's uh, i'll add this i'll copy this and i'll paste it here before this script so when i refresh this page uh, you will see that uh, like this is saying that you are running a view in development mode this is all we have wanted now what we can do uh, we can create a new file uh, like instance to do to do dot app dot html we can create a new file in this folder and let's name this as to do app dot js so perfectly fine okay and what we can do uh, i'll 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 what i can do uh, i'll try to maintain them inside a folder so uh, now i have uh, like i've i've used a cut command and i'll make a new folder to do app perfectly fine now inside this to do app i'll paste them so now now you can see that i am inside a folder to do app and now they have two files to do app.html and to do app.js so uh, uh, so i am inside a folder so that should give you a better idea when you view the repository that the to do app would be inside the uh, to do app.html and to do app.js so i can change this to i can change this to to do app.js so this is perfectly fine sorry to do app dot js perfectly fine okay now what we can do uh, so let me refresh this page okay file not found yeah i'm i know why why, why the file would not be found because i made a new folder now when i go to the directory so here you can see i have a to do app 
and inside the tura i have to do output html so it works perfectly fine so one thing what we can do next is so we can add console dot doc and inside this i can type script started so when i refresh this i right click here inspect element and i can refresh i can see script started and this is from to do app.js so this is all for this tutorial so this was like the like this tutorial for setting up the environment for this developing the app and i'll catch you in the next tutorial thank you everyone.